Hey, how's it going? Time to pit my bench. special plan for that bench over there. So before I get started on my projects this season, I need to improve my work area. As you can see, I've already got it started and cleared off the bench. Now I'm just going to clean up the mess of the chop saw and drill press left. And mouse poop. Lots of mouse poop. I am so glad that I have my workshop to keep this messy junk out of my garage. Now I just gotta get this bench set up so I can use it. I've kinda given up on that one over in the corner <laughs> for now. Time for the shop vac. Fun time. There, all done. Well, as clean as it's going to get. Next, I want to add a back piece because it sucks when you're working on something in. Yep, no fun. Backboard is on, and I just used a piece of wood I had laying around, a 6 foot by 10 inch. Because you can't really get to the corner with that cabinet there, so it's, it's good. Now, the top's not flush with the frame on this bench, a bit of a lip, so I just scribed a line and put a few screws in down along the top. Doesn't need to be super sturdy, but it's pretty good. Oh, and by the way, all that junk, I just moved it to one side of the garage for now. Still got to clean it up. Now for what I got planned on next, for the front side, I need to make a quick trip, so be right back. Hey guys, I'm here at a local metal shop picking up what I ordered. Let me go get it here and I'll show you what I got. And I'm back. I wanted to get a shot of it before I left, but they were kind of busy and I was in the way a little bit. So, here it is. New metal bench top. 18 gauge galvanized and I had them bend the front down two inches and the back up two inches so in case I spill anything. This should make cleaning up after my projects a lot easier. Just wipe the bench off. So give me a sec and we'll get it inside and start to install it. Well almost got the metal top installed but stuff came up and this is where I left off yesterday. I ran a File down the edges to clean them up so they don't catch on stuff. Drill the holes for the screws. I'm just going to put a few in the front lip and a few in the back. Now, I originally planned on putting a few screws on the sides too, but they'll probably catch on stuff, so you know, if it's a problem, I can always add them later. Now, the front of this bench also has a bit of an edge like the rear. So I hammered these shims on to take up the gap. Luckily I just made a bunch of them up the other day when I was making a video for my table saw. Well, well, I was making the shims actually for another project but these are left over. So I just trimmed them up with this hand saw real quick. Probably should get my miter saw out to plug that video too but <laughs> oh well. well. Honestly if I didn't have the shims laying around I, I would have just 
hammered the edge over and called it good. So let me get this top screwed on and I'll show you the next phase. All screwed down and wiped off. Looks nice. I think this is going to work out good. Only thing I probably should have done different is I probably should have used pan head screws for the front. I just had these wood screws lying around, so eh, we'll see. Next, while the bench is pulled out, there's a few things I probably should get done because it'll probably be a while before I have it moved out again. I started this sticker border and I'm going to go ahead and finish that all the way to the corner. Also, I put some shelves up around the top of the garage and I'm going to go ahead and take the last one that's stacked up over there and put it over here just above the bench. Then I got this LED shop light. I got one of these at my workshop and it's pretty bright. Works good. So give me a few and I'll get that stuff started. Pay no attention to the redneck wiring. I am not an electrician. Sticker time! If you can't tell, I'm a bit of a sticker hoarder. Well, truthfully, these are not all mine. I did get some from friends. Except for this stack over here. This is all me. I think I may have a bit of a problem. <laughs> Here's an oldie bit of goodie. Okay, so I got the shelf up. And I put a tape line up to give me a bit of a guide for my sticker border. So... Let me get the tripod set up and I'll give you a high speed shot of the stickers. Forgot to mention, I got this cheap flag I'm going to put up real quick. I'm just going to staple it. That was loud. Don't staple next to your ear. <laughs> Stickers are up, shelves up, 
LED lights up. Almost done. Just a few more final touches and I'll be done with this project. What I got left is I'm going to put up a tile holder over here for when I have to deal with something messy. I don't have to keep going back and forth over to that tile holder over there. I had a few magnet sticks up over here to hold tools or whatnot. Holder for my gloves. And I was going to put this vise on the end of the bench, but it's kind of low, so I mean, I can maybe make an adapter to put it up higher or something, but I'm not worried about that. I'll deal with that later. I got a perfectly good vise right there. Oh, and I need to mount this uh, power strip, so give me a few and I'll finish that stuff up. <laughs> Don't worry, I got plenty of stickers left. Got that stuff done, plus a few other things. I added some hooks for my drop lights and dustpan. Also, I put a piece of wood on the back of the bench to fill the gap so when I drop stuff off the magnet, it doesn't go all the way to the floor. I even picked up some round head screws. Although all they had was nickel plated, so <laughs> I guess I got some bling for my bench now. There's a new screw and an old screw. Yeah, I think this turned out nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Even inspired me some to clean up that mess over there. Well, some. I <laughs> still got a long way to go, but it'll get there. So, it's official. Bench, you've been pimped. Next time, I'm going to work on one of my projects. Thanks for watching. Keep it real. <laughs> Can't put a Jags next to a Jags. <laughs> <laughs>